Hello YouTube. Uh, this video is going to be about this little device here and this is a Russian impulse counter. Uh, it's from the Soviet Union so if you want to know what the so you can see what's written here so this is tip so that means type SB so that's SB1M slant 50 whatever that is it's got a serial number here and uh, 1971 Goda so uh, this is actually from 1971 so it's 50 years old it's a 50 year old uh, mechanical impulse counter okay so let me just uh, I bought this on eBay uh, from a gentleman in Belarus uh, and I will leave a link to his eBay um, uh, his eBay shop he has uh, lots of interesting stuff from uh, you know the old Soviet republics and things like that uh, so do have a look if you're interested in this kind of stuff okay so uh, let's look at this so this uh, these are the two dials which shows you you know how many electrical impulses have gone through so it's a counter basically okay and uh, you can zeroize it with these two dials so that's pretty clever the needle itself doesn't move when you zeroize it's just the scale behind it that uh, that moves so that's pretty clever right um, okay so let me zeroize both these right this is into 100 okay so this means that so supposing this was at had moved to 5 it means that 500 impulses have been counted okay and uh, this is in ones so every time so if it was about here at 15 that would mean 15 impulses okay and uh, once this goes an entire circle right and comes back to 0 then this one moves one counter so that's how it works okay uh, a nice rugged little thing I've, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to use it for but uh, it's uh, it's very very intriguing so anyway um, over here we have uh, a ground supply Z which I would think stands for Zenith uh, not Zenith Zemlya okay Earth um, and then here we have the plus and minus terminals uh, to give an impulse so I've connected this up to my 12 volt DC supply so this is the earth this is the the, the ground line okay and uh, here's the positive and so when I touch it just listen to what happens you hear that tick 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 so that's every time I touch it it's moving one impulse so let me turn it this way and uh, touch it from underneath and you can watch the needles turning okay so right. so if we can see that okay you see that see the look at the single needle so this one this needle see that every time a 12 volt impulse um, that needle turns one so it's counting how many impulses are there and if I go all the way around to a hundred let me see if I can do that really quickly okay so we're at 90 now okay now watch the other one the other one should go one spot didn't did it okay we'll just let's keep going again maybe it's just moved we haven't really it doesn't move i don't think it moves once every hundred i think it moves uh, at a slow yeah you can definitely make out that needle is no longer at zero now yeah, see, it's turning, it's, it's it's moving, but very slowly, not exactly, yeah, see, so it's definitely moving, now it's definitely not at zero, where it was, so, yeah, so let's open this up and have a look inside, and uh, let's see, there, there you can see the, you see the hundreds needle now, the hundreds indicator is definitely not where it was, so it's slowly moving to the right, um, yeah, so, there you go, okay, so now let me open it up and uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, so here we are, back again. And uh, so inside, obviously, there's a there's a solenoid over here. All right, and that gets energized every every time it gets one impulse. Okay, and uh, there's a little mechanism here, which is uh, how the counter works. So I'm just gonna try and zoom in on that. 
because uh, that's obviously where the interesting stuff happens. So let's see if we can zoom in a little. Okay, that's better. Zoom in some more. Ah, okay. So I hope you can see that little mechanism there. that's it in focus there. Um, let me provide the electrical impulse and let's see what happens. You see that? So this lever arm is obviously you know connected to the yeah. so, okay. so you see the lever arm moving and this is the, the electromagnet here the solenoid. You can just see that's just pulling the lever arm okay every time I give an impulse and uh, internally that arm is probably connected if you look really close I don't know if you can see it but uh, let me just okay right in there see that that arm which is moving this 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 arm which is moving you can see that that little thing there's it's, it's almost like a hook actually and that hook every time it moves it just pulls on a little gear so you can't see the gear from this angle. Let's see if I can turn it. Show you that gear. This is really interesting stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See that? See that arm? This is the arm that was moving. Okay. Um, show you from this side. Yeah. So this was the arm that was moving, and there's a tiny little gear here. You can see that and it's like a ratchet so every time the electromagnet uh, is, is, en is energized this little hook like device pulls on this gear and obviously this gear is connected uh, internally to those um, to the display needles and uh, that's what makes it turn so I love this type of uh, this old Soviet uh, mechanical um, electronics I find them incredibly fascinating and uh, the fact that it's working perfectly after 50 years uh, is just a testament to some really good engineering and uh, fabrication work. So for those of you who are skeptical about uh, Soviet and Russian equipment, this is for you. Let's have a look on the other side. And uh, there are the two needles. So. Soviet uh, impulse counter from 1971. Fascinating. Absolutely incredible. Okay, thank you for watching. I just wanted to share this uh, amazing piece of hardware with you.